Hello everybody, hola a todos, cześć wszystkim. In this video about Keycloak, I'm going to show you how to set up social identity provider. As an example, I will use GitHub. Also, uh, please check out my previous videos. The first um, about setting up realms, clients, custom password policies and MFA in Keycloak. The second one about setting up single sign-on using SAML 2.0 protocol. Okay, but in this video, let's talk about uh, social identity providers. Um, let's assume we have uh, yet another customer. Let's uh, add it. And uh, this uh, customer uh, doesn't want to use uh, SSO SAML 2.0. Uh, instead, they would like to use uh, GitHub OAuth 2. Okay, so we go into the identity providers. From the list, as you can see, there are quite a few uh, out of the box uh, uh, connectors available, but uh, I will go with uh, GitHub in our example. Okay, I will copy this endpoint and uh, now I will switch to GitHub to finish uh, setting up uh, uh, this uh, application. So this is my uh, GitHub um, uh, account. Uh, I'm under the settings. I will go into the developer settings. OAuth 2 apps. I have one uh, test application and I'm going to add a new one. I will call it hotel. That's our imaginary system that we are working on in this uh, a key cloak uh, seri home page url let's use uh, this one description is optional callback is the callback which i copied from key cloak so i'm going to register the application now i need client id i also need uh, client secret as the client secret will be visible on my uh, screen, for security reasons, I'm going to delete this application at the end of the video. Um, copy the uh, secret. I can provide scopes for this uh, application. I will go with the default one. You can read in GitHub uh, documentation uh, what information is provided uh, in the uh, default uh, scope or you can comma separate your own scopes. Uh, I'm going to trust the email and that's really all uh, that I have to do. Okay, everything is ready. I will go into the clients and just open this uh, URL to log in into the account. On the login page, you can see that I have now GitHub button available. So I'm going to click it and uh, yeah, do I want to authorize Hotel? Yes, I do. And uh, I'm in Keycloak. And uh, the GitHub connector correctly read my username. That's my username in GitHub. That is the email that I have set in GitHub. And uh, my first name and last name. Uh, if you are familiar with GitHub uh, API, you will uh, know that uh, in GitHub, there's only name field, which contains both the first name and last name. Um, and uh, Keycloak correctly parsed first name and last name uh, automatically. If you recall the previous video, when I was showing uh, SAML to zero integration, we had to explicitly map uh, SAML assertion attributes to Keycloak attributes. Here, I didn't have to do anything. Everything is correct. I will hit save. So yeah, everything worked fine. And I can from now on login into Keycloak uh, using uh, GitHub. Okay, and that's really all. That's super simple. Uh, before I wrap up, uh, as promised, uh, I will delete this application. Well, let's just refresh it. So yeah, we can see that uh, we have now uh, one user. It was used within the last week. And I will delete this application. Okay, 
the application is gone. So uh, guys, that's uh, everything uh, for this uh, video. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to sync Keycloak with LDAP um, directories. So stay tuned. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.